guys so today i'm going to be showing you how to do flower smocking i've got a sample here to show you what it's like so create nice little bunches i've added some extra beading just as an extra bit of embellishment so we're going to start off with a piece of fabric and we've got a grid drawn on just for speed this time i've done a grid with two by two inch squares rather than one by one this sample is one by one inch and i've done two by two here then we need to mark on the pattern for our grid so we're going to do every other box on every other line with a cross i'll draw it on and then i'll show you Okay, so something like this. So as you can see, I've got boxes on either end just because you need a little bit of space between that and the edge of your fabric just so that you can form the final petal or it'll just look like it's got three petals rather than four. So let's get started. So we're starting up in the top left-hand corner of the fabric and this grid is going to be on the right side of your fabric. So this is going to be exposed to the world. So when you're drawing out your grid, when you're marking on your lines, you need to use dissolvable ink or tailor's chalk. I've used pencil just for the purposes of the video so that you can see what I'm doing. Same for the thread. This is going to be seen, so you need to use a colour that is the same as your fabric. For the video, using black so you can see what I'm doing. So the first thing is you need to make a little knot stitch just right in the top corner of your first square just to secure it so it doesn't snap. And then we're going to move over to this corner and we're going to do pick up just two or three threads and then we're going to do the same across all of these corners so here we have the first square mapped out as you can see i've only picked up just a couple of threads on each corner so this isn't fixed this will pull and that's exactly what we're going to do you're going to pull gently on this thread and it's going to gather all of this into the middle so we've gathered in all those stitches across the square that we've done and it's created this bunched up effect. As you can see, this is still the first line. That's the next box across. And we've got this effect happening here. So as you can see, this looks a bit like a petal. So we're going to push through all of these gathers that we've made and that's going to make four petals that will be able to adjust as you go along. So you can now see we've got four petals starting to form just by pushing up the fabric through from the back. You can fiddle around with these as much as you want to try and get them perfect. And then this center pinch that you've got, you need to secure that with two to three stitches. Get it real nice and secure or it's gonna rip. So now that we've got the first flower held together and secured with this st stitch here, we're just gonna continue to work across one row at a time. So we'll go here to here and then down that way.
so we've got a finished sample i've just been like finger pressing it just there to kind of give it a little bit more definition you can continue to sort of push it through from the back to manipulate the different petal shapes something of this size you could do way more embellishment on you could put big beads into it you could put beads into the dips of the petals whereas a one like this just gives quite a nice repeat so you can see the difference between doing a one by one inch square and then a two by two inch so yeah hope you have a go yourselves